data science and stats that's my branch in iit kanpur and people always ask me that why did i take it because i could have gotten cs or ee in other top iits as well so today i'll be telling you about my branch i'll be explaining the course template and i'll be telling you why i actually chose this what motivated me to choose this data science is used in many different types of industries and as of right now a data scientist is the highest paying job in the world before moving on to the course template i want to say that i'm the first batch of uh, sds since it's a new branch and one advantage of being a new branch is that the course content is very much in line with what the industry wants right now from data scientists and from students coming out from college as uh, we who have data science knowledge so uh, even all like all other courses uh, they have their, their course content has been prepared like since long back and it has been updating yes but like this is the most updated uh, course content that you ever going to get because the professors that came together to form this uh, program have uh, have got very good knowledge about what is what the industry requires and so they've come together and they've made the course content relevant to the uh, needs of the industry with that here is the course template statistics and data science about the new program in stats and data science The interface of stats and data science is a utopian combination of theory and implementation of modern data with immeasurable use in industry, government and academia. So as I told you, it's got a lot of use in industry. Everyone obviously requires data science uh, data scientists in all spheres of the industry. And adding to that, a sophisticated computational framework afforded by data science methods gives a combination that can bring significant improvements to solutions of diverse real world problems. So along with the mathematical and statistical courses which are more towards theory we also have a uh, computational framework so basically uh, coding courses and basically teaching us languages so that we can actually use those mathematics that we've learned in like data science problems uh, that we'll be solving uh, through uh, using these different languages mostly python and r or c++ so we'll be basically first learning those languages and then using them on a global level in the past 10 years there has been a significant change in the research and teaching principles of statistics there is an ever increasing focus on the computational aspects of statistical methodologies somewhat parallelly the larger data science and ai community has realized the importance of interpretable ai where the need of the r is explainable statistical models so there will be a focus on the computational and software part as well so you will be getting uh, taught uh, that along with the mathematics courses so as any ki tum pure time maths se padh ja rahe ho statistics se padh ja rahe ho sath mein tum coding wagera bhi kar rahe hoge and then unka use bhi karna hoga in like the lab part you know also with data science information you can also go into ai research if you want to the program focuses on three wide and relevant areas of coursework a fundamental statistical and mathematical courses b statistics and data science courses and c computational courses so a and c are basically what you will need to uh, do the statistics and data science courses because uh, fundamental statistical and mathematical courses they will be more uh, you know theoretical and so you will be getting taught a lot of maths concepts various maths and ab- abstract maths concepts also and uh, in c you'll have computational courses you'll be uh, you know you'll be getting taught some languages or you'll be getting taught how to use those languages you know how to different like data uh, data structures and algorithms courses and all and these will then help you to use the mathematics uh, knowledge that you've gained in the first part to use in the statistics and data science courses where you'll be actually given real world problems students of this program will be exposed to various types of structured and unstructured data and will work on solving real world problems as i told you before in the stats and data science courses this would include data related to health biomedicine banking and financial data speech signal image processing etymological social media and social network analysis energy sector so basically here you can obviously see that like you'll get data from pretty much so many different places so basically you can use data science principles in so many different areas of work and so it's very flexible if you have this knowledge and if you are you know qualified to become a data scientist you can go in any direction that you want you can go into like bio mechanic bio medicine and all and you can also go into like finance if you want to go into banks and stuff so basically it's a lot is not a flexibility for you to kind of do whatever you want to do and where your interest lies for the students there will be abundant avenues and opportunities to analyze and infer from huge repository of data available from various sources including the institute itself to keep the students acquainted with new challenges of data and cutting edge technology 
द इंस्टीट्यूट विल इन्वाइट इंडस्ट्री पर्सनल फॉर गेस्ट लेक्चर रियल डेटा एनालिस प्रोजेक्ट सेमिनार प्रेजेंटेशन एंड पॉसिबल इंटर्नशिप फॉर स्टूडेंट्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस कोर्स कंटेंट दर इज ऑल्सो ऑल दिस एक्स्ट्रा स्टाफ लाइक द इंस्टीट्यूट विल इन्वाइट इंडस्ट्री पर्सनल फॉर गेस्ट लेक्चर्स सो ऑल दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड प्रेजेंटेशन दिज आर ऑल वेरी हेल्पफुल यू नो टू गेट मोर नॉलेज एंड यू नो स्पेसिफिक नॉलेज टू वेरियस डिफरेंट यू नो सेक्टर्स so that so that way you can go where your interest is students graduating with a degree in stats and data science will not only be well suited to build flourishing careers in industry and the new entrepreneurial india but also to pursue higher studies in classical and modern statistics and data science so if you don't want to do a job right now you can also like like after you finish your uh, four years uh, in this course you can also go for higher studies in uh, classical and modern statistics and you can probably get a very good uh, uh, college even a uh, foreign you know very good university to do your higher studies and also you can easily get a job in india as well or uh, outside of the outside of india you know uh, because uh, data scientist as i've already told you is the highest paying job so everybody wants them okay <laughs> so yeah now coming on to the course template apart from the institute compulsory and department compulsory and humanities and social science courses there were 14.7% uh, percentage for open electives You have 8.4 percentage for department electives and 10.9 for ESO slash SO, which is uh, engineering science optional and science optional. So that's a very good percentage. Like it's a decent percentage. There are obviously some courses which have a more percentage for uh, electives, and but there are also some courses which have less percentage and are more hectic in terms of like the department compulsory courses. So this gives you more flexibility to you know choose whichever you know uh, area you want to go into. or just get some other courses like economics and something if you want to go into finance then as an open elective you can take some economics courses or like in the department electives as well there's an eco- econometrics course so you can take that if you're trying to go into finance then we have the courses and uh, some of these courses that I want to point out are the uh, ESO 207 data structures and algorithms courses that we've been doing in the 5th semester Now this is very important. This is a very important course for uh, because data structures and algorithms helps in interviews and in the exams before the interviews when you are giving during placements as well as internships. So that's what the seniors have told me that this is a very important course and it's a very sought after course as well. And the fact that we have this already in our uh, course template is very useful for us. Also, there are three data science lab courses: data science lab one, lab two, and lab three. Now these will help us, you know, where we. actually have to use the knowledge that we've gained through the other courses and we have to actually apply them to solve real world problems so that's very useful and also there's the statistical and ai techniques in data mining which is a very interesting and useful course now we're coming on to the department electives and open elective courses so i just want to point out some of the important ones i told you like there's an econometrics course as a department elective so like you can choose this if you want to go into you know, like finance and if that's very you you find that important and there are also a lot of lot of different math courses a lot of these are pretty theoretical but i think we'll have to take some of these so that we can build our uh, knowledge build our base and then probably take different courses where we'll have to use that knowledge then there are an ml approach for differential equation statistical pattern recognition there's data mining sketching and sampling for big data analysis these are all open electives introduction to machine learning probabilistic machine learning uh, neural networks artificial intelligence machine learning and its applications now machine learning big data analysis data mining these are all like very important things and people like in the when you giving interviews and all they look for that if you have knowledge regarding these or not uh, you have to take take different courses for machine learning it's not really that much in our actual course template but a lot of uh, electives are offered regarding machine learning so that's useful So one thing that I was talking about before, and I want to bring that up again, is the data science lab courses. So data science lab courses and the lab component of applied statistics and data science courses would focus on hands-on training with raw data and development of open source software. So you can see, like, it'll be very interesting those courses and really fun to do. And also, like, if you want like those computational courses, they will help you a lot in you know building a base in coding and also getting some much-needed coding practice. and if you just want to if you really love coding and if you want to go for a job that purely involves just coding you can definitely do that as well through this course you can uh, like the course also gives you a lot of coding practice coding courses and along with a few more efforts from your own side just doing coding on the side you can definitely get a good job in software as well 
further the curriculum up allows for up to 45 credits of open electives to be taken in the form of an internship all these would equip the students with necessary knowledge expertise and experience to have flourishing careers in analytics industry and the new entrepreneurial india so when i looked at the template for the first time i was like damn this is good okay and then you know just talking to more people about it and then after a while i was just convinced that you know yeah this is where i'm going to go also just you know being part of the first batch being a part of something new it just it's a very good feeling so that's also like one thing that led to me being attracted to this uh, course and yeah i've taken it and i'm now uh, not getting my decision at all i'm really enjoying it it's pretty cool so yeah i hope that you got a gist of the course and what all it has to offer and i hope you got motivated as well if you are a j aspirant to actually perform better and uh, maybe get maybe take this course in the whenever you get the chance so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and peace